I want to play some clips, guys, to continue to talk a little bit about and, and inform folks a little bit more about what this custody for cash is. I have uh, some small clips from, uh, from, from a former, and I say former, state senator from Georgia who is thought very highly uh, in, uh, uh, in, in this, this area about court reform, uh, the CPC, the, a, a number of different things. But, uh, and I say former because uh, she, too, has disappeared and been murdered. But uh, let's, let's play this first clip. However, my report is concerned with the children and parents caught up in legal kidnapping. Oh, 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 legal kidnapping. Let's go. Having worked with probably 300 cases statewide and hundreds and hundreds across the country. And in nearly every state, I am convinced there is no accountability in Child Protective Services. Hold on. No accountability, guys. First of all, this was Nancy Schaefer, so you, you, could, you could look up that. When we were talking about Brave, I have all notes, guys. I'm sorry. I'm all over the board. Bob Butts, there's somebody that's speaking up, and I want to just do a shout-out to Bob Butts. He's been fighting, talking about uh, getting information out. He's been on the front lines, uh, and he's one of those brave individuals talking about something different than the, the, perhaps uh, 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 reform in courts, but that's important uh, too. But there is no accountability. Over and over and over again, we're hearing from people all over the place that there is no accountability. Keep on. I've come to several conclusions. Two or three are, one, that poor parents, not always, but oftentimes, are targeted to lose their children because they do not have the wherewithal to hire an attorney and fight the system. Hold on for that for a minute. Michael X, here's another problem. We have the illusion, and we have been inundated I'm telling you guys out there, and if anybody wants to get involved with us, please, you know how to do this. We'll give you one case to look at. But very often, they have court-appointed attorneys, but they're part of the feeding tube. And, 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 and they are. And, and so we have an illusion in many cases that you're getting representation because you have, everybody needs representation. And we have to make sure that we, the poor folks who can't afford an attorney, can't afford these outrageous prices. We're going to get into that too one of these days. We can't do it today. The outrageous prices people are paying. I mean, we got, I, I, we got people saying that, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars they've spent to try to get their kids back. It's really phenomenal. But we have an illusion that you have real representation and we have to start looking at that a number of cases uh, many people have come to us saying they go to court they have court appointed attorney but they don't do anything they just do what the court the guardian ad litem tells them let's keep going that case workers and social workers are very often guilty of fraud they withhold and destroy evidence no hold it hold it right there here's another thing guys i'm telling you I'm hearing it from the lawyers. I'm, I, I'm talking about people. That, th- th- this is like rampant. You're not going to hear this. You're not going to hear this from the judges. You're not going to. Just with individuals, lawyers yesterday are saying they go through the files. All kinds of stuff is missing. Keep going. They fabricate evidence and they seek to terminate parental rights unnecessarily. That the separation of families and the snatching of children is growing as the business grows because state and local governments have grown accustomed to having these taxpayer dollars to balance their ever-growing budgets. That the bureaucracy is huge. Look at who is getting paid. State employees, attorneys, court investigators, guardian ad litems, court personnel and judges. There are psychologists, therapists, psychiatrists, counselors, foster parents, adoptive parents, and on and on. Hold on for a second here. Here's another thing. We're starting to look into all the connections. You won't pull, I I, I am like flabbergasted. The judge's brother, the judge's cousin, the guardian ad litem. I got this doctor. Who wants to, who wants to learn a little bit more about Doctor Scheinvold? Here, here's the name. This is, this is a psychiatrist down in in Harrisburg. anybody anybody have any anybody have any information? Is, is he connected? It, maybe he is. Maybe he's not. I I just know. I, I see some. Uh, you know, I've gotten information. I see some of the bills that this guy charges. He, he's not shy about that. Let's keep mo- rolling. All are looking to the children in state custody to provide job security. 
that the adoption and the Safe Families Act set in motion first in 1974 by Walter Mondale and later in 1997 by President Bill Clinton offered cash bonuses to the states for every child they adopted out Stop. of foster care. Hold, hold on here, and and I want to get to this last. I want I want to end up with the second clip, and I could look up here, Michael. We're getting down low. X, we're getting down low. Let's let's start that uh, um, second clip. Here are a couple of the recommendations on my list call for an independent audit of all state child protective services. Thank you, Kathy Dobash. And for Dobash. a federal congressional hearing on child protective services. Abolish the federal and state financial incentives that have turned child protective services into a business that separates families for money. I have witnessed such injustice and harm brought to so many families that I am not sure if reform of the system is even possible. The system cannot be trusted. It does not serve the people. It obliterates families and children simply because it has the power to do so. What I have said to you in these few minutes is that we must confront the fraud in Child Protective Services. Child Protective Services seizes children using the very system that is paid for by the taxpayer who actually believes it is used to protect abused and uh, neglected children. The bureaucracy of workers benefit financially by a system that converts children into cash children into while cash. destroying their families and their lives. No child who emerges from the system can ever be sound or whole. Many disappear and never are ever heard from again. God will not stand for what is happening to our children and our families. Okay, folks, we have to end there. I'm, i got to tell you, Check out Senator Nancy Schaefer. Check out what we're doing. Get involved. Michael, it was a quick show. Once again, you got the final word, my friend. Hey, we need all. God bless America. God bless, folks.